Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're back out here on the lake. Now one of the interesting things, I don't know if you guys can see this, but with the up air, my screen's now upside down. This uh, second up air I got has been a little bit strange. So in the last episode you've seen it do some wanky stuff. So I want to try some more experiments, do some casual flying. Um, but this thing's rather odd. Now notice on here on the FPV, the camera and everything's transmitting correctly. So everything's good there. So let's go ahead, let's arm this and take this up for a flight, if you will. Now one of the things I've read, and I'm going to try this experiment, is if you yaw it around, it, it'll calibrate the compass. Because notice it's sinking. And then what you're supposed to do is yaw it in one direction and back into the other, kind of slowly. And then what that's supposed to do is help calibrate the compass. Now, I'm going to do this a couple times just to, because I'm wondering if that wackiness in the last episode wasn't caused by uh, some miscalibration because the camera doesn't seem to be acting all weird. So I've, I've got it a couple times here. And all that looks pretty good. So what I want to do is uh, I want to try going going for some shots a little bit like uh, like I did the last time where I ran it out over the, the lake I want to get it get get it so I, I get some sweeping views so let's go ahead and run it out over the lake and let's take it up as we go out and yes Norbert I want to make sure I don't crash it in the lake now it's yawing a little bit is I take it out so I want to take it up some to let's 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 get it up there and then let's take it out and what I want to do is I want to turn it back towards me a bit whoops so I got it Turn back towards me. I'm beginning to wonder if there isn't something with the compass because I'm having a little bit of response problems with the arrow. The arrow is not really working like it should. So now I should be I should be able to pull this. Let me get the gimbal. So there's the blue water bridge again. So I'm going to take this, uh, well if I take this forward it should walk it back this way. If I take it, take it this way it should take it out a little bit further. So I want to go back towards the the lake side a little bit. Now this is pointing back towards me so which is rather odd because this should not be so there's the props. This is uh, now I got it now this arrow seems to be kind of wanky on the OSD. Um, yeah, I'm, unfortunately I didn't hit the record a little bit earlier, nor do I got the record button going on there. So, the record button going on both of these as we're out there. So we got it set out there. We're up about 41 meters, and for some reason it's pointing back towards me on the compass heading. So if I push out, so if I push back, it should actually start coming towards me. But I think that's actually going back out away, because it's, which it should, because the way the direction the camera is facing. I want to give it, get it, get it up there, get a little bit more altitude. I'm a little bit nervous of it being this low, and only about 50 some meters. 
I'm gonna get it back up there about 60. And let's let's just yaw it around. So not, unfortunately, no ships coming up or down Lake today. So again, there's there's the Blue Water Bridge. So a nice nice view of it. So it's a nice Saturday evening here. Temperature is about in the 40s. So I'm getting a little bit of drift. You notice that drift? I, I am in position hold mode. So if you see here, position hold. So I shouldn't be really getting any drift. But I am getting some drift, which is unusual. So I'm actually out over the lake quite a bit. So, uh, let's see. I don't want to go towards the bridge. I want to go towards, I want to go towards open water. See, now the arrow is pointing towards me. This is where I'm thinking something is up with this compass. Because it's still out there. I can still see it. I'm going to issue return home because it's doing something strange. So it's coming home rather quick. I just want to make sure everything's clear on the beach here. Everything looks pretty clear as it's coming back in. It's coming back in a little bit lower. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right about there as it's coming back. So I want to bring this back in a little bit. <clears throat> this is the great thing about return to, return to home. So you just click the switch and it does its thing. And so uh, you really don't have to think too much about it, which is nice. Because I just want to kind of get it back here. Um, I'm not sure what the time has been. I'm a little bit under 11 volts on the battery. I'm going to stop the return to home. So I put it back in position hold because I want to yaw this around a little bit. Because I want to try to get, get the park where I'm at. Let's uh, angle the camera down a little bit. And let's see. I am standing... That's me right in about the middle of the screen there. As uh, probably you can see. So this is what the camera is looking at. Uh, it's just looking at me now. So uh, you can see the beach is pretty empty. A couple people down beach. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye. Uh, making sure they don't wander up here. Actually a lot of people think I'm strange. They see me out here talking to myself and don't realize I'm actually talking to my hat. Which is probably even a bit more weirder. Now one of the things here. Notice it's actually holding very nicely here. So um, I am not sure. But the arrow is still in a funky direction here if you can see on the uh, FPV screen. I'm not sure why that orientation. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try some yaws back and forth to see if see if there's a calibration issue. Do some yaws. But I think I got the funny suspicion that the, the, the compass is off on this guy. So because, because this should be, this should be facing away, so do I return from home here? I don't know, this is getting, this is a little bit strange, so maybe, maybe this is correct now. So because I need to come back this way to come towards me, so the arrow is now reading correct on the screen, I don't know if you can see the screen or not. So the uh, arrow is correct. So I'm going to... Um, bring this back towards me. Actually, I want to bring it down beach. Make sure people are clear. Because in another month or two, I won't be able to do this. This beach will be packed with thousands of people. So, I want to get this flying while I can. There's going to be a couple places up lake that's kind of deserted that I'm familiar with that I'll be able to go uh, when it gets packed up here. But uh, they're a bit further drive from my house. This is really right around the corner. So let's 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 bring this guy down a little bit. 
Now, one of the things I notice on the, the responsiveness on the stick, I don't know if I can get this, uh, is I'm pulling the stick down. I want you to see if you can see if I can get this, the proportionality and in, in how it's coming down. So, it actually drops rather slow when it's coming down. I'm just kind of watching this. So let's kind of yaw this around. So here I am on the beach. Got my stuff. I see a person down there doing something, so I'm just kind of watching it. For some reason, it's deciding to go up on its own. I don't know, it's acting a little bit strange. I'm still in position whole, but it wanted to rise. Just watching, really no toilet bowling or anything, so it's, uh, it's holding itself fairly good, but it is wandering a little bit, a little bit more than I would like. Because again, with position hold, there's really no wind out here. So you can kind of see it dropping in altitude a little bit. Now, now you can see it rising again. I'm just looking at the minutes. So I'm trying to see the voltage. So I'm at uh, about 10 and a half volts. I'm going to take it out a little bit. And then I'm going to spin this back around so it faces me. And I'm going to bring it back in. I'm just kind of watching for people over here. There's people playing in the water over there. So I want to be careful about that in case this thing does something it's not supposed to. So I'm back over here. So I'm going to bring it in for a landing. So uh, we played around with it a little bit. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more stable here. I'm going to just kind of watch it for a minute, see uh, what's happening. Why well, get get a little bit closer look? So you can see. Now I also have the uh, the gimbal guard on here, and I wonder if that's maybe not creating some uh, uh, issues with it. I've got the gimbal guard on the uh, Phantom Three, but I, I'm just wondering if some of the weight or balance issues isn't causing the problem. I think on the next flight I'm going to try taking it off and then see what happens. But you know, right here it's holding pretty good. Because what I'm wondering is if that gimbal, that gimbal guard isn't acting like an airfoil and uh, kind of messing up its sensors a little bit in its balance. So uh, I think you have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, again, I just kind of want to check my surroundings around here. So we got more people coming out to the beach. I was kind of hoping on a Saturday night and cold out that it'd be a little bit quieter, but is what it is. So I'm going to bring this down, well actually I'm going to gimbal up the camera and then I'm going to back this up a little bit and then I'm going to just bring it in for a manual landing. So here we're going to bring it down And we're bringing it down. Just kind of walking around it, taking a look. My grandson Devin over there. I'm 
Then it, I, I think the batteries are starting to get, so it's starting to... So I'm going to start bringing it down. Yeah, I got, uh, if you can see, I got one light, so the battery's about going on it. All right, so we're landed. We'll disarm the motors. Everything's good with this flight. So another great flight of the up air, a little, little bit of issues. So again, I'm going to try it the next time without the gimbal guard, see what happens. So, hey, don't forget, subscribe button's coming up over there. You got comments, hit me up below. Don't forget to hit the like button down below, help sponsor the channel. Uh, and hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.